Welcome to the channel. My name is Easy Now. I'm covering for DPJ this week while he is on holiday. And today we're looking at my 600,000 DPS high crit build on the Thunder Cage. How to get it, what mods to use, but also a few mods that can be replaceable and, you know, pretty damn cool build in my opinion. Before we go any further into the video, DPJ wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and is giving away Ultimate Descendants every week. Unlike most people, his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army so the main weapon without any mods or anything does decent ish damage you know 15,000 on a precision 25,000 on a crit it's fine the way it is but it can be made so much better now i personally have put a socket on every single mod slot possible so i put a lot of money into this so you will it will not be typical of everyone's experience however i think i've got a really cool decent build so if i go over here we can see everything equipped and we're going to start with electric conductor now i uploaded this as a video on my channel and i forgot to show the other mods off so this here is specific for anyone who can cause electrocution bunny and sharon for instance so anyone who is inflicted with electrocution takes 26 percent more firearm attack damage we're going to show that off here as well so normal attacks with this weapon you can see are doing about 10,000 to the body 17,000 to yellow 67,000 to precision and like over 100k in terms of crits now when we put electrocution on that person and then shoot them you can see that my crit is now 130,000 normal white damage went to 28,000 i believe let's do that again boom 28,000 yeah you could just see huge increases when you put electrocution onto an enemy and if you can extend that electrocution and keep it on the enemy longer you're going to be doing more damage overall and what's great about sharon is is when you put the electrocution on them you'll use an entire clip and at the same time electrocution will fall off so you can hit once do a whole bunch of damage reload and then go again if you want electric conductor for general rounds you can find it from any of these places white knight gulch seems to be the main area for me you can get it from mission monsters you can get it from completing the void fusion reactors and all of these areas if you go over to your map and go to access info go to module search for it Go to the acquisition info and you can see pretty much everywhere where you've got it. I'm fairly sure I got mine from the normal Void Fusion Reactor for the White Knight Gulch Hatchery while I was trying to farm some other stuff. But it does have a harsher drop rate than most of the drops you get. So you can see that my firearm critical hit damage is 200% and the firearm critical hit rate is 56.5% which goes up using Valby which we're going to discuss. But the other mods outside of Electric Conductor and a few of the mods I'm going to show you are Rifling Reinforcement for that Firearm Attack buff and also Action and Reaction which gives you a huge buff to Firearm Attack but it adds recoil to the gun. These two are your big numbers. These give you more damage. Firearm Attack is very important. However, we also have a crit build. So Concentration, Priority, Firearm Critical Hit Damage plus 120%. That's where all that 200% comes from but the reload time modifier is minus 30%. Then we have firearm critical hit rate of plus 39% with better insight and better concentration offers us 74.8% critical hit damage. So the reload time modifier here, the minus 30, is counteracted by reload insight. So you get a reload time modifier of plus 25% and a critical hit rate for your firearm improvement as well. Recycling Genius also gives you that reload time modifier. So everything is kind of balancing out. Then we have insight focus, firearm critical hit rate of 14.5% and crit hit damage of 6.5%. And then of course like most guns you need a good fast fire rate and this definitely helps with fire rate up then when you go into the thunder cage and go to its unique ability if you have fully upgraded it to the unique ability level of four you'll have a zero percent reload time modifier and everything else will improve alongside it as well now this gun is viable for any character but with Valby you can get a specific mod called Supply Moisture and while you're standing on water it will increase skill critical hit rate, skill duration and firearm attribution trigger rate but it will also add a flat 20% firearm critical hit rate increase which is just 
insane so if we throw some water down and we start shooting you can see that those hundred thousands pop up so often it's just ridiculous so definitely worth using a crit build on valby with supply moisture but this isn't the most damage we can get from this weapon this that i made currently was for people with electrocution effects but also as well because it gave me the biggest dps number in general and i wanted to show off that you could get this gun over 600,000. however it does the exact same amount of damage now as it would if i took it off because as you can see even though it's down to 566,000, it's still doing the 100k for crit and about 60,000 for precision so that perk that mod is specifically for Sharon and Bunny. So I went out and found a few different perks that you can choose. Now, Sweeping Squad works really well, except it doesn't match up with the module slot that I have, so I haven't put it into play yet. But every time you defeat an enemy, you get 10% for five seconds of firearm attack. at a 33% chance, and it stacks up to three times. So essentially, you can get 30% increase in firearm attack while killing enemies, which you're going to be doing very quickly with the Thunder Cage anyway however i went with firing fiesta this when reloading rounds are not consumed for three seconds and the cooldown on that is every 15 seconds this actually gives you quite a lot of extra dps because you're not wasting bullets so if we just go here and we shoot this person you can see that after we reload for a big portion of time bullets don't start going down so i'm putting out a hell of a lot of damage and this one is definitely worth choosing in general because it just gives you more bullets before having to reload regardless of the crit damage or anything you can do with valby it's just nice to not have to reload the um the thunder cages often because you're shooting out so many bullets that's a big clip that's a big clip so how do you get that module well it is from one of the sub quests given to you by the robot in albion and it is the divine punishment research mission once you research this divine punishment and create it and craft it, you will be given this module. But there is other ways to get the firing fiesta. You know, you can do it from a central control unit mission on Fortress, from Hagios, loads of different areas. There are some that you can get through amorphous materials and fight certain bosses. There is a lot of different ways to get it, but the easiest way to get it is from that quest. It can drop randomly from mission monsters as well. So that's a pretty cool. So if you haven't got this yet, figure out how to get it and go get it. The quest is the easiest way to do it, to be fair. But while that is a good perk, there is better ones, but there's also worse ones. So sharp precision shot. Fire rate minus 20%. But while pulling the trigger, fire rate goes up 4% and recoil down by 5% and firearm attack plus 6% every 0.5 seconds. And it goes up to 10 stacks. Now, in theory... This would be an incredible perk but because the magazine is so small on the thunder cage you don't really see any of the benefits you see a little bit of increase in damage but every time you reload you lose the stacks so i was very very sad about that not working the way i thought it would work however this mod is really good for guns with huge magazines so your lmgs your tamers this is a great perk so electric conductor is great if you are playing as a certain class however there is a perk that can emulate that for any class and if we go down it's your good old enhancement modules so chill enhancements toxic enhancement fire enhancement electric enhancement all good now because electric enhancement matches up with the module socket that i've put in i'm going to use that one but obviously you can use whichever one you want and change your module slot however you need to this is giving you an extra 30 percent of firearm attack in electric attack so as you can see, if I use this now, you can see that my criticals are at 120,000. So 20,000 more damage just off the fact that I added that mod. And it's not something that dissipates. It's not something that goes away. It's just a really, really powerful module to have. As you can see, getting all these 120s off the bat while standing on water with Valby. But you don't need Valby to make this work. You don't need Valby to get this damage. This just allows me to get more damage more often because I'm getting more crits. Now these fellas just stand still and don't really do nothing. Let's go test it in a real world scenario. Let's see how much damage we can do to a Colossi with just this weapon on Valby standing in water. I'm actually quite excited to see what this does because I haven't used this electric enhancement mod yet myself personally on a Colossi. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens. So let's get that water down. 
Let's wait for him to pop open and then we can just drill the heck out of him. From this range, I'm still doing 40,000. Let's get a bit closer because I feel like it does have a bit of a drop off. Okay, now we're doing it. Now we're rocking. Now we're rocking. I'm going to get very much hurt though because I'm just out, 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 out. I really wish I had some toxic protection on. I, don't, I didn't even think about it. Oh, I've got the um, the weak point weakness type as well. First, is it on this? Oh. Okay, now we're talking. I don't know what's hitting me, but we're just going to rock anyway. Oh, I'll run out of bullets. No. Been 80,000 damage to his weak spot here. I'm going to die though. It, the bosses just seem to always want to shoot me. No, like, they never shoot anyone else. They're just like, oh, we're going to focus on this guy over here. I'm just going to do this anyway, even though I might die. Try and get as much damage as possible. Stop shaking around, please. 70k crits constantly just because I'm standing in water. Absolutely insane. A boom, there we go. I was recovering on the other side of the map when he died, but you know, I got two, two of the red mods. I can't see anything with these bodies in the way, man. And that's the video. Hit a like if you enjoyed it. If it helped, let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. I've been easing out covering for DPJ and you have been amazing.